Hi, today I'm excited to be sharing with you some really important information on how to choose the right mouthwash for you. Hi, so today we're going to look at mouth rinses. I mean, what a incredible range of choice we have and where there's an incredible range of choice, there is an incredible likelihood of confusion. Um, remember a couple of things. Firstly, is that the most important thing is to physically brush plaque off your teeth, okay? The mouth rinses are only going to add on a little bit more of cleaning or uh, protection or in some way sort of biologically going to be of use to you. The key thing is to get the plaque off by your toothbrush and floss and interspace brushes and you can see one of our other uh, videos to understand how to do that. But nevertheless, um, a lot of patients ask me about mouthwashes, so let's go through them. First thing to say is that the major ingredient for all of them is water. Okay. The second thing is, is that on the whole, I don't think that you want one with alcohol in it. And some of them contain quite a lot of alcohol. So it's worth having a look to see uh, whether there is an alcohol free. For instance, this one here, I think it might say that it's alcohol free. Um, but have a look out for that, okay? I'm going to leave that one aside there because all of um, that one, so these ones here are pretty much the same in that they contain some water and they contain some sodium fluoride to strengthen your teeth and they contain some detergent and cleaning agents which will assist in the removal of uh, plaque from your teeth and perhaps wash out any food debris as well but they are very, very similar, so it really wouldn't matter whether you bought this one here, which happens to be a supermarket brand, or whether you bought one that is made by a particular company. They're going to be very similar in their action. This one here is uh, for uh, uh, young people or adults that are having orthodontics. Okay, but they're, they're very, very similar in their action. They physically wash out uh, any plaque debris or food debris to the ability that a mouthwash has. All right, so that's all of those. And then we have this one here, which is called Corsodil, and that contains uh, chlorhexidine gluconate, digluconate, which is very much an antibacterial agent. Okay, so if you have a gum problem, if you have bleeding gums, or if you have an area that's really difficult to clean and you've been advised to by your dentist or hygienist, this is the one to use. But unfortunately, in long-term use, it causes staining of the teeth. So you need to be careful not to be using it long-term. The staining can be removed by professional cleaning, but it is a negative point. And also, the uh, chlorhexidine digluconate can temporarily cause a reduction in your sensation of taste very slightly. So there are some negative points to using this one, but if you have a gum problem and you've been advised to, it's a great mouthwash, okay? Then we've got this one here, which is specifically for people who have implants, and that contains a very small amount of the, of the chlorhexidine, uh, such that it doesn't cause staining, um, you can see it says here anti-discoloration system, it's just that they've got low amounts of that particular ingredient and as a result that's a great one to use for uh, if you've got implants which are quite difficult to clean around. And then finally this one here, Peroxyl, which contains hydrogen peroxide, is also a great uh, one to use if you're suffering a little bit with bleeding gums or you've been advised that you have gum disease because the hydrogen peroxide is quite strongly antibacterial but it doesn't produce staining like the other one. So we've got some that are good for if you have some sort of gum issue or you have implants and then all of the rest of them are pretty much of a likeness. They contain some fluoride, they contain perhaps alcohol or not alcohol, and they contain a cleaning product in them, and that will assist in getting rid of the plaque and maybe food debris from your teeth. But remember, brush and then use them, and then you should have a happy smile for life. Thank you. So, please click on one of these two boxes for more tips and advice.